Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get into those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Let's grow Ninja Nation and keep it the fastest growing baseball community on YouTube. So hit that subscribe button and without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Tigers rookie Tarek Skubal, who's really impressive. He had 5Ks in 7 innings and had his wicked slider working combined with his mid-90s fastball. He threw 7 shutout innings. I love this from Luis Severino. He started the game kind of rocky, even though he was getting his strikeouts. When he saw that Aaron Boone may be trying to pull him out of the game early, he pulled a Mike Mussina. You stay there. I love this from pitchers. And... It worked. He ended up getting out of the situation and ended up with eight strikeouts and four and two thirds and the Yankees won the game. Robbie Ray had his Cy Young slider working. Look at these wicked sliders. He had 10 Ks in five and two thirds innings, giving up only two hits. Lucas Giolito had five Ks in seven innings and giving up only one run. And look at these nasty changeups. He even got a KO on this elevated change up here. Down goes Rosario. Ninja referee Steve Willis counts him out. The at-bat is over. Rookie Alex Fiedo made the start and had 7 Ks in 5 innings, giving up only 4 hits. Though Fiedo was outdueled by Adrian Martinez, who was making his first career start. Look at this at-bat Javi Baez had against him. Baez swings a 33 and a half inch bat, but he thinks he swings a 73 inch bat. It's almost like he was working for the drop third strike the entire at bat. Hunter Green looked really good yesterday. He touched 100.5 miles an hour with his fastball, but the big story was his slider. He actually threw more sliders and fastballs, and for good reason. His sliders were pure filth. He also picked up a couple White Castle specials. Some nasty, nasty stuff. Mike Clevenger was making his first home start since coming back. And check out those pigtails. He had some wicked sliders and painted with his 96 mile an hour fastball. He even found time to multitask, getting his steps in while also pitching. My man Clevenger is very efficient. Orioles rookie Kyle Bradish was outstanding yesterday. He had 11 strikeouts in 7 innings with no walks. A superior combination of stuff and command from such a young pitcher. He has a filthy slider and dotted 98. Definitely a pitcher you need to keep your eye on. Justin Verlander took a no-hitter into the 8th. Will this man ever slow down? He just keeps adding to his already legendary Hall of Fame career. And look at this overlay of his fastball and slider. You can see what makes that combo so tough. But what I really love is this overlay of his elevated fastball and curveball. You can see why a hitter would swing at a fastball out of the zone. It looks just like that curveball. And that curveball ended up in the zone. So you think you have to swing at that fastball and you can't touch it. Of course, the highlight of the night was Reed Detmers and his no-hitter. If you've been following closely here, you know I love Reed Detmers and his curveball. And speaking of lefty curveballs, here's one from Reed Detmers. Detmers is going to be an ace in the major leagues at some point. And he had that beautiful curveball working perfectly. Not only that, but he upped his percentage of change-ups, both to get swings and misses and weak contact. That combination of curveballs and change-ups combined with his slider and fastball gave hitters fits. Here's a cool overlay of his 92-mile-an-hour fastball and a 73-mile-an-hour curveball. You can see, not only did I start out in the same plane, but that curveball is almost 20 miles an hour slower, so it messes with a hitter's timing and perception. Detmers had a 43% whiff rate on his curveball and a 36% whiff rate on his changeup. I take extra pride in knowing that Pitching Ninja's prettiest curveball of the year from 2020 has all grown up. As a bonus, here's Reed Detmer's curveball grip that he sent me. Get yourself a baseball and try it out. Now on to some relievers. Felix Bautista is turning into a monster. Look at him hit 102 here and then through this just absolutely filthy, I think, I think it was a slider due to its spin characteristics, 
but it kind of looks like a splitter. Whatever it was, it was nasty. The big man is a problem. But honestly, the filthiest pitcher all night was Miguel Castro. Not only did he have a 93 mile an hour changeup that ran 22 inches, which is absurd, but he also threw the filthiest pitch so far this year. This is a 99 mile an hour fastball Strike with three. 25 inches of arm side run. In the StatCast and Hawkeye era, there's only been one pitch that had more run and was faster, and that was by Jordano Ventura. This is mutant alien stuff. Kirk was so sure this was ball four, he started walking to first base, despite the fact this ended up almost middle-middle. Also slowed it down so you can see the path this pitch was on and where it ended up. Totally mind-blowing at 99 miles an hour. Strike three. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. Here's Anthony Rendon's first left-handed at-bat of his career. 